Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is not my own original design, it is by someone else, and their name is Puglover516, and I, well, I got this from Instagram, so that explains the name, and yeah, this bracelet here is called the Peacock Braid, and I'm going to be showing you how to make it on two pins or a finger loom, which that, or well, the tutorial is specifically for finger looms, but you can still make this bracelet on any two pins, on anything. So you could even use two pencils or two forks. Now, this bracelet is very similar to another bracelet I have made a tutorial on, the Tsunami Wave bracelet, and that is what this looks like, or this is what that is, and if you would like to make this bracelet, then you can go ahead and click a link in the description. But anyway, here is her Instagram. Um, here is the picture. So this is what we're going to be making. And here is the flipogram, which that's what it's called. It's just a little slideshow showing you how to make it. And you probably can't see the words, but it says that I can make a tutorial. And yeah, so... To make this bracelet, you're going to need any two pins on anything, but this tutorial is specifically for finger looms. You will need a clip. I'm going to be using a C clip because I just have tons of these just around. It, depending on what kind of loom or what you are using, you may need a hook. But I'm using a finger loom, so I will not need one. And you will also need rubber bands. So as you can see here, there are two different groups. There's this A group and this B group, and I'm going to go ahead and explain what each group is. So this A group, or the A rubber bands, are going to be the rubber bands that are kind of this main single chain here in the bracelet. So these blue rubber bands. There are these B rubber bands, in the second group. And they are going to be the smaller single chain up here, or all these neon rubber bands, and they're very colorful in this example. So yeah, now that you know what you're going to need, get your supplies and use the pause button so that you can do so, and I will see you once you have everything. Alright, so to get started, we're going to need to place a cap band to begin. So we're just going to need to place a cap band, and to do that you're going to need an A color rubber band, and what you're going to do is you're just going to twist it going horizontally across any two pins on your finger loom or just whatever two pins you're using. I have the rainbow loom logo as the pin closest to me so the pin with the rainbow loom logo that is the pin closest to me and I would recommend doing that as well if you have a finger loom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place another A color rubber band. We're going to place it going across the same two pins Now we're going to loom the bottom rubber band over on both pins. So over here you grab the bottom, pull it over. Then same on the other side, grab the bottom, pull it over. Alright, sorry about that. It was getting it's getting pretty dark outside and it's already cloudy, so it's kind of difficult to record. But anyway. Once you have loomed that bottom rubber band, you are now going to place your first B color rubber band. So you're going to get a B color rubber band and you're going to place it going across these same two pins. And what we're going to do is a little different from before. Instead of looming the bottom rubber band on both pins, you're only going to loom the bottom rubber band here on the left. So you're going to leave the right pin alone. You're only going to loom over here on the left side. Now we're going to place a, another A color rubber band. Just stretch it going across the same two pins. Now we're going to loom all of the bottom rubber bands on both pins. Over here on the left we grab the one rubber band and over here on the right we Grab the bottom two, so the B color rubber band and the A color rubber band. 
Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get another B color rubber band. So we're going to get a B color rubber band. We're going to place it going across the same two pins. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're just going to grab the bottom rubber band only here on the left side. So we're going to ignore the right. We're going to loom the bottom rubber band over here on the left. Now we're going to do something a little different from, be from before as well. So we're going to do uh, something different again. So we're going to get another B color rubber band instead of an A color rubber band. We're going to place it going across the pins. And what we're going to do is we're only going to loom the B color rubber band here on these pins. So for me it is this yellow rubber band. And over here on the left it is the bottom rubber band, but here on the right side it is the middle rubber band. So you're only going to loom the B color rubber band. Now you're going to get an A color rubber band and you're going to place it going across the same two pins and you're going to do the same thing that you did before when you placed an A color rubber band. You're going to loom all of the bottom rubber bands. Now you should have something like this. So I just went through the pattern of making this bracelet once and I'm going to show you the how to continue making this bracelet one more time and then I'm going to leave you to continue making this on your own because this is actually pretty simple once you get the pattern. So, so once you have this A color rubber band on your two pins you're going to get a B color rubber band and place it going across these two same pins. Now, like we did before, we're only going to loom the bottom rubber band here on the left. We're not going to do anything here on the right, we're just going to loom over here on the left. So the bottom rubber band on the left, there you go. Once you've done that, you're going to get another A color rubber band and place it going across these same two pins you've been using the whole time and you're going to loom the bottom rubber band on both pins so over here on the left we only have this A or this B color rubber band and here on the right we have this B color rubber band and this A color rubber band right now what we're going to do is a little different once we have this A color rubber band we're going to get a B color rubber band and we're going to place it going across the same two pins. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to loom only the bottom rubber band here on the left. So we're going to ignore the right. We're just going to go over here on the left and loom the bottom rubber band. Now here's where it gets different. You're going to get a B color rubber band and place it going across these two pins. And you're now only going to loom the B color rubber band on both pins. So over here on the left, we have a B color rubber band, so we loom it over. And here on the right, we have an A color rubber band and a B color rubber band, but we're only going to loom this B color rubber band. And the B color rubber band should have been kind of the middle. So once you've loomed the B color rubber band, you're going to place another A color rubber band across like that and then you're just going to loom all of the bottom rubber bands over the pins they are on and now you should be left with only an A color rubber band going across these two pins all right so now I've shown you how to make this bracelet and the pattern for this bracelet twice and now I'm going to actually cut the video and leave you to finish making the bracelet on your own and yeah so yeah so now that you know what you need to do unless if you're still not sure just go back a few minutes in the tutorial where I explain how to continue or how to make the bracelet and yeah so you're just going to continue this simple pattern of placing a looming over and over until you make your bracelet long enough to fit around your wrist and then once you've done that, I'm going to show you how to finish off your bracelet. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video. Just use the pause button if you need to.
All right. So, as you can see here, I have made my peacock braid bracelet long enough, so it will now fit around my wrist, and you should have made yours as long as you need to as well. And what we're going to do now is we're going to finish off our bracelet and make it a bracelet. So to do this, you're going to need to end your bracelet off with just a regular A color rubber band. So whatever you have on your pins right now, it does not matter. You're just going to get another A color rubber band, place it going across the same two pins you've been using, and loom all of the bottom rubber bands. So whether you have a B color rubber band or you have just another A color rubber band, you're going to loom whatever is underneath of what you just placed. So this A color rubber band here. And once you've loomed everything and you just have this A color rubber band on the pins, you're now going to get your clip and we're going to attach it to both ends of our bracelet. Now if you are going to be using the big clip, then you will get your big clip and attach it to what I'm about to attach my regular clip onto. So to attach your clip to this end of your bracelet that's on your loom, which if you're going to be using a big clip, then this is what you'll be attaching it to. You're going to grab one side of the rubber band and bring it over to the other pin with the other side of the rubber band. And now only one pin should have rubber bands on it. Alright, so whatever clip you have, just a regular clip or a big clip, you're going to attach it to this here pin, so this pin here. Then you can take these rubber bands off once your clip is attached to them. And there you go, your clip is on one side of your bracelet. Unless you're going to be using the big clip, then you're done and don't need to worry about anything else. So, now if you're going to be making this a bracelet, you're going to find the cap band on the other side of your bracelet and it should look like a circle. What you're going to do is you're going to stretch this cap band out onto one or two pins. You're going to get your, your cap band on your loom. And make sure you stretch it out so it's easier. And you're going to get your clip on the other side of your bracelet and attach it to your cap band. And there you go. So once your cap band and your clip are attached to each other, you can take the cap band off of your loom and now your clip should be attached to both ends of your bracelet. And once that is true for you, you can go ahead and put your bracelet on. And bam! So as you can see here, I am now wearing my peacock braid bracelet, and hopefully you are wearing yours as well. And I guess now it is time for the outro. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make Puglover516 from Instagram, or on Instagram, br Anna's bracelet successfully. And hopefully you are enjoying your peacock braid bracelet. And if you wouldn't mind, you can go check out Pug Lover's Instagram, which there will be a link in the description. And there will be a link to this channel's Instagram as well. So you can get updates and stuff for the channel. But check out Pug Lover's Instagram because she has a lot of cool stuff on there. And here's the other peacock braid. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say for this video other than thanks for watching and bye!